Welcome to this lab. In this lab we're going to create an arc object. So we will be basically building on top of the existing projects that we have created earlier. So let's get going. I have here created the code, the skeleton code, with all the parameters or variables that we need. We declare the document object database and the transaction and the try catch block. So all we need to do is create the arc object. So what do we need to draw an arc? First thing we need a center point. So let's uh, draw a center point equals new uh, point 3D. Let's do it at 10. And zero. Next, uh, what do we need for the arc? We need a radius. So double arc radius equals, let's say, 20. And now that we have the center point, we have the radius, we need to have the start angle. That will also be a double equals 1. By the way, this is in radians. So one radian is equivalent to 57 degrees. So double uh, end angle, that is the arc end angle, let's say 3.0 radians. Next, we can now create our arc object. So arc, let's say arc, new arc, then this is the, the, the parameter that's required the point 3D, I mean we have already the center point, we have the radius, we have the start angle, and we have the end angle. Okay, so let me introduce to you another function here. Basically uh, in the .NET API, there is this function called set uh, default database defaults. So basically, whatever the arc uh, or whatever entity objects that you are creating, it has all the default values. So we will just get that uh, values as well and assign it to our object, like maybe colors, line types, or or layers. So now we are ready to add it into into our block uh, table and also commit add into our transaction true then now we can commit our transaction And we have here the, uh, the catch uh, exception. So this should be all good. Let's save this uh, project. Before I do that, before I do the build, let me just close the AutoCAD first. Now we can do the build. And we can now open AutoCAD. Okay, so now we can load our plugin. Net load, draw objects, always load. Then we now have the draw arc function. There you go. Zoom extends. There is our arc. So if we list our new arc, we have here the center point at 10, the y is 10 the x is 10, radius is 20, start angle is 57, end angle is 172, and the length is 40. That's uh, auto-calculated. So that's all about for our arc object. 
in the next video we are going to create a polyline object or a lightweight polyline object i'll see you there